What's up guys, good morning. So, just pulled up to the Florida Children's Home donating money today, thanks to uh, the camp that I held and all the participants in the camp, everyone that donated money. Um, it's been, it was huge turnout. Uh, this is the second year that I've done uh, a camp to donate. Last year I did a, uh, the same thing, I did a baseball camp, um, kids ages six to 14 uh, or 15. And last year I went down to Puerto Rico with my dad and um, visited a couple of the boys and girls clubs and then we donated to uh, to one of those boys and girls clubs down there and um, it was it was an amazing feeling we were able to to gather five thousand uh, dollars to donate and it's just it was one of the best feelings in the world just to, like to see um, like what it meant to them especially after uh, especially after the hurricane um, had hit because it was just right around the same time it was like right after um, so obviously there was still a lot of devastation in the area. So uh, that just felt really good to give back. And this year we're doing it here in Miami uh, at the uh, Florida Baptist Children's Home. Um, the reason why I wanted to do it here this year um, is I just, I don't know, I feel like God kind of called that uh, upon me. It's something that I wanted to do. Um, I know it's it's tough. These kids don't have um, don't have their biological parents really like, at least they don't live with him. Some of them don't even have them in their life at all. So um, I can't even imagine. So just being able to give back to them and um, it's like a small little community here. I'll turn the camera and you guys can probably see I'm sitting out here in the parking lot. Um, but it's it's not really a, uh, a huge, huge place. So um, I wanted to do anything I could to give back to them. So I'm about to go in there and um, and do this donation. I just can't wait to, to see how this affects that or impacts them in such a positive way. So just left the Florida Children's Home, Florida Baptist Children's Home, and uh, the donation went great. Um, once again, thank you to everyone who donated and everyone who participated in the camp, um, and also everyone who helped the camp as well. That means more than uh, you guys know to me, and then obviously to um, this uh, the Florida Children's Home, the kids there, the staff there. Um, obviously, they all appreciate it. Um, unfortunately, we were not able to get any video or or pictures of the kids due to like um, some of the regulations uh, of I don't know if it was with the state or um, with the Children's Home. I know they have a couple different ones across the state, um, but we weren't able to do that unfortunately. But uh, obviously. It was just, it felt amazing. I'd go to the heart, um, just knowing you're able to do anything possible to help um, like people in need or people that don't necessarily have um, what you have or what a lot of us have. Now I'm on the way to FIU and uh, we're gonna practice. Uh, gonna get some more work in. Um, you guys kinda know Joe by now, get some video in. Let me know what you guys, I know the off season is closing in pretty close and I'm not sure when this video will exactly get posted. Um, but I know the videos I've shown is kind of just like me working out and stuff and, and hitting. Um, I know I'm gonna try to get some more uh, like interactive work in there, like with me being able to, you guys see like when I'm getting coached and teach like, hey, do this, do that, or um, fix this, fix that kind of tweak. And there's not a ton of it, but uh, obviously there is because no one is perfect, um, especially in the world of sports. Like there's always stuff you can improve on. So let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I am going next week to Kansas City. And I think next week is when I'm gonna try to post, uh, start the YouTube. I have the channel, but um, obviously by the time you guys seen this, like this probably be like the third video on there, I'm gonna guess, somewhere around there. Um, and then I'll show obviously the, the part of where I'm going to Kansas City and um, get to see a lot of my teammates again, which is gonna be really exciting because it's been a while and those are like, they grow to be your brothers. After spending pretty much eight months, uh, it's like seven, eight months with these guys, it's like, wow. Like you realize like, all right, this is like, it's like your family because you're with them every single day. You live with most of them. 
you're on the bus, travel with them, and the hotel, on the field. Literally every single day you see these guys. So uh, yeah, they become your family, and the bond is uh, is pretty close. So I'm looking forward to seeing my brothers again, um, and I'm like super excited. It's gonna be freezing, so I don't know how pumped I am about that. Uh, but gonna make the best of it, of course. And uh, I think we're doing some training at the Urban Youth Academy. So I think the, most of the, like the practicing is gonna be indoors. Sorry, my phone got kind of cut off, but yeah, so the, most of the practicing is gonna be indoors and we are participating in FanFest, I believe too. We're doing something with FanFest because I know that it's gonna be while we're there. So I'm not sure what all that entails, but I know we're all excited to do that. Um, it's gonna be a really fun week, um, or like four or five days in Kansas City. It's beautiful there, like I love it. Uh, I've been twice now. Once was actually before I got drafted. Um, it's actually, it's the uh, it's the only, yeah, I want to say it's the only stadium. No, and the Miami Marlins too, because now nah, because I live in Miami. But it's the only stadium I really like traveled to go uh, do a pro workout at. And um, I don't know, just coincidence. Funny enough, I get drafted by the Royals, so it just happened to work out. Um, but no, it's beautiful there. It's the weather's pretty chilly. Um, I think it's, I don't think it's going to be too, too bad. I think it's going to be like twenties and thirties, maybe in the teens too. I don't know. I mean, I guess that is pretty cold, but, uh, yeah, no, it's going to be, it's going to be a blast. Like I said, I'm just excited to see my teammates hang out with them again. Um, and it's going to be, it's going to be a good one. So.